yeah this is interesting but again this is something i think most people have known about and again it's not really interesting news because it's not to be honest but i just saw it across my timeline recently and it is quite cute so i thought i'd celebrate it in some way shape or form especially as being as i'm a fan of um a lot of the stand-up comedy podcasts that you know reside around la and new york area and that whole kind of um uh, weird little world that exists over there so it looks like um joy coy and flipping um chelsea handler are a couple now i never knew that i never knew they even knew each other well i guess i should have known because joy coy used to write or is writing still on the chelsea handler show but from all intents and purposes they've been long time friends they probably maybe fancied each other um for a long time behind the scenes maybe it never really quite worked out in terms of each person being single at the same time but whatever it's kind of the stars have aligned and now they've kind of come out officially on their social media and declared their relationship which is you know cool because you know Joey Coy is a really funny dude um, you, you know the way he kind of carries himself he's quite a charismatic guy so I'd assume he didn't really struggle with attracting the ladies especially on the road and Chelsea Handler is Chelsea Handler isn't it she's basically a uh, she has a lot of kind of alpha male energy in terms of how she approaches men. So again, I'm not sure. I'm definitely convinced she doesn't really struggle to find a mate either. So the fact that they've kind of decided to be in a relationship together, knowing, you know, they've both probably had a very, um, what's that, what's that thing with Adele said? They probably got a very high body count, each of them, right? The fact that they've decided at this moment is probably, um, evidence that they're both ready to settle down in some way, shape or form. And just, just from an observing side of it on the outside, again, not knowing these people and just kind of seeing it and being a fan of Joy, I mean, uh, of, of Joy Coy on podcasts and stuff and how he kind of carries himself. It's just cool to see a somewhat celebrity couple be of age, if that makes any kind of sense, right? Especially on the dude side of things, because, you know, dudes basically get the added advantage of being able to impregnate women until the day they die. And they also get the advantage if they've got money and they've got fame to basically have the pick of the litter, right? They can choose anybody they want to kind of, you know, be their long-term companion. Um, and sometimes guys have the tendency to kind of go for the younger girl um, because why not? Especially if you're rich and famous, you know, if you're able to attract girls who are from the ages of like 18 and 26, why wouldn't you do that legitimately? I definitely understand stand but from what i've seen um from joe budden who i used to listen to his podcast a lot you know at stop now since the kind of fallout he had with rory and mal but i've really noticed some really kind of bad and worrying traits with people especially guys who tend to date women excessively younger than or who happen to be way younger than they are especially maturity in life and whatnot you get spun in this kind of constant circle where you start to believe that girls that age represent women in general which they obviously don't and especially if you're a Joe Budden kind of guy he usually dates a certain type of woman a certain type of age and from a certain type of industry so you're naturally going to run into the same type of issues but for whatever reason that kind of young um, Poonan is so intoxicating he can't pull away from it right so he keeps getting himself involved in you know relationship after hookup after relationship after date after relationship with the same type of person the same type of issues happen and he keeps complaining about them which you know maybe he's not complaining because he's actually upset maybe it just makes for a good story but I just couldn't imagine myself being the age that Joe Budden is which is what early 40s and dating somebody who's like under 28 do you know what I mean it just wouldn't make any sense in my head I don't even know what we'd have to talk about right it's bad enough having to talk to my brother's little friends right and then having them kind of annoy you with some of their nonsense that they talk about imagine having to be in a relationship with another woman or with a girl who you're kind of with a lot of the times having to kind of make small talk with and she's legitimately talking about stuff that you have no idea about the references are all off life experiences don't really make sense and you're not really in the same walk of life of where you're going it's just a bit strange so it's quite nice to see people of age of a similar age dating and it's obviously good to see people who are super successful in their own right deciding that you know they both want to date each other in that regard too because sometimes they say i think especially on the woman's side especially if you're a chelsea handler and you're like an a-type woman and you're super successful you got your own money you've done your own thing it's probably difficult to find dudes that are willing to kind of settle down with you because they're always going to kind of find because they're kind of going to feel somewhat inferior so maybe it is beneficial that joy did um that Joe Coy did have been, um, obviously work under her in some regard on the Chester Anderson show. He's also got his own career. He also seems like somebody that doesn't have 
you know, doesn't suffer falls gladly, isn't uh, doesn't have like self confidence issues, wouldn't feel a bit amiss if people refer to him as Chelsea Handler's husband or whatever. Do you know what I mean all that kind of vibe? So I think it's going to be perfect for them going forward. But yeah, big up them. They upload a little, you know, pictures of them on dates and shit. It says it feels so good to have love and laughter, and enjoy in my life. So again, happy, um, what you call it, get together or whatever. What what it called? Happy coming out relationship to these guys. They've got a podcast they did together where they kind of detail how the relationship happened or whatnot. I'm sure is interesting but i didn't have i haven't listened to it i'm not going to listen to it to be honest i'm just going to judge the pictures but yeah i think they make for a cute couple again it's good to see people of the similar age dating each other for a change i'm sure joey joey could have gone for whoever he wanted in terms of age range and whatnot he didn't i'm sure chelsea could have gone forever she wanted two in terms of age and they didn't two two people who are beast in terms of their own career decided to hook up and i think it's a good thing to see refreshingly you know because you get to see flipping you know people like flipping brian kellen and that do you know I mean leaving his missus and you know his children and hacking up with somebody i think more than half his age is like i don't know man i don't get again i don't get it i think it's a certain dude that likes that kind of thing but i don't get it oh look she have to comment as well under the picture chelsea handler said oh babe you are laughter and joy i'm just vibing off of you and why is budget highlighting vibing isn't vibing a world fuck i just looked it up i'm vibing jesus man it's mad isn't it she's like probably in love and this is really it's kind of cringe but also really endearing um to see this i'm not going to lie again i'm not really sure about church and the relationship status i don't know if she had many um, relationships prior to him or she was married or whatnot i don't really know um not really that interesting i know joe has a kid already um who's pretty older i'm pretty sure he's got an older kid right yeah that's the one there with the curly hair um but yeah man they're going out they're having a good time they're vibing they're having they're having fun they're even recording what's this is this an instagram uh igtv they've got a little igtv they recorded here together as a couple look at that coming out video people are congratulating them in the comments and really liking it oh Y'all just don't sound happy some of us are oh, together. Chelsea lately was a great show. We've seen Joe live uh, Joe live in Phoenix. I love Koi. I love Choi. Okay, that's what they're calling it. Choi as in a group. As in a couple name, right? What's that? From there your toe? Because your toe always gets sore after sex. All right. Oh, Buddha, 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 baby. <laughs> I love my baby. <laughs> Well, man, the way the way, especially the way I've heard other podcasters describe Chelsea Handler, you would never, you've never seen this side of her, innit? Where she's like in love and lovey dubby and soppy and shit, right? Because you always kind of hear of her. Again, maybe it's the industry she works in too. She has to maybe present a more masculine, tough edge because she's again working in the dudes industry with loads of predatory dudes, and she's a attractive blonde lady. So for sure, she had to kind of you know withstand a lot of. Uh, her, un un kind of un yeah undesirable advances right or advances that she didn't request in any way shape or form so she probably had to create like a tough exterior because i remember i think joe diaz saying a story where he kind of didn't necessarily have the best experience of her because i think he tried to make a joke and she didn't really take it too well and ever since then he thinks he's kind of convinced that she hates him which i imagine she probably would do you know, I don't imagine she'd be, kind of be a fan of the Joey Diaz's and the Burt Crashes of this world, and I wouldn't imagine. But you know, you never know. But yeah, big up them. Um, they make for a cute couple, Joe Coy and Chelsea Handler. Um, love to see it. Love to see it. <laughs>